Well, this young man is a really accomplished submission specialist, and sometimes fighters get offended when you call them a specialist, but most people know what he's trying to do in there, and to this point, no one's really been able to stop him. John, he will try to pull guard. He yeah. pulls guard anymore in the UFC at this point, but he understands that for him to be successful, the fight has to be in the grappling, in the jujitsu. If he's able to extend these jujitsu exchanges, he is the guy that is generally going to win. He understands position. He understands going from point A to point B. He always is the one controlling the underhook, always has the frame, just a knowledge of jujitsu that not many people can match. And you can be sure as he makes this walk tonight, he's thinking about just how quickly he can get this fight to the ground and utilize those aforementioned high-level submission skills. All right, so here he is representing the American Kickboxing Academy, San Jose, California, a man who I believe is the most dominant force in the game at present, UFC lightweight champion, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You know, for Khabib Nurmagomedov, he's a guy that has dominated every person that he's faced inside the octagon. He has a great Sambo background, but it's all the takedowns that he mixes well together that allows him to gain top position, and when he's on top, his ground control is second to none. He can move from position to position seamlessly, and when he's on top, he's constantly doing damage. It's the ground and pound of Habib Nurmagomedov that is his biggest and best attribute. And what's crazy to me is to hear you tell stories about him in training oh. that we haven't even seen the tip of the iceberg when it comes to what he can do in the octagon. J.A., I don't believe that we have seen the finished version. I think when he's in the octagon, he's fighting at about 75% of what I see on a daily basis at the gym. Well, history is going to look back fondly on Khabib Nurmagomedov, but every time he competes, he puts his status as one of the greatest fighters of all time on the line, and that status, of course, on the line yet again here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena, in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 116 pounds, fighting out of Mechacala, Russia, the Giant. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we are, the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. It's crazy to think that not all that long ago, mixed martial arts was not regulated in New York. Came down, the UFC came strong, and we've been out John, we kick the door in. Yes. If you're gonna open, if you're gonna say you're welcome in MSG, the UFC is coming. And every time we have gone there, we have brought phenomenal fight cards and some of the biggest moments in UFC history. Now, if the Knicks could just get their act together, Nick will never get their act together. I'm with David. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Great punch. Both guys really throwing with authority. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. All right, he'll engage in a single now. Potentially a critical takedown here. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. 
Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, and he caught the kick. Well, he caught the kick there and then counters with the takedown. So a lot of fighters, when they catch that kick, would move immediately into the takedown and it worked out for him there. It worked out great. Caught the leg, drove right into his opponent and put him on his back. Good strike there by Nermago Medov. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Beautiful body kicks. All right, single collar tie now. Takedown defense holds up. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, single collar tie here. <laughs> Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Single collar tie now. Oh, oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Back to the feet. Marco Medov's got the full mount. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. You ready? You ready? Second round underway. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nermago Medov gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And they separate. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, nice job to land a knee to the body. Man, I wish I was at top. As he lands another one. He's keeping the staff guys busy tonight. I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedowns. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to fold him. Yep, there absolutely. Go. He's gonna take on bar here. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off. And, you... and this might just be a matter of time. And there it is. He's done. He's done. Woo. 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 
Yeah, that is high-level grappling right there as he gets the win tonight here by way of submission. And he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. It looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 19 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. So there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that